Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a video about for beginners. And this is, I'm gonna call this one part 3B, because I'm still going over the toolbox. We've gone over the first five tools. And as you can see right now, my eraser is my tool. My default is the crop button, but it's the last tool you used. So if you use like the pan tool and click off of it, your pan tool is gonna to be your next tool. So you can hit the zoom tool. So we've gone over these top five. Now we're gonna go over drawing tools. Two point line, pretty uh, self-explanatory. It draws a two point line from one point to the other point. If you will hold down your control button, it will draw a line perpendicular at 15 degree angles by default. So that will help you a lot if you needed to draw perpendicular lines. The next one is your freehand tool, which is basically freehand. The next one, and I'm not gonna go over all these tools because they're all a little bit the same and they're all a little bit different. My next favorite tool is the three-point curve. Let's get rid of the freehand tool and let's use the three-point curve and I'll show you why I like it. I'm gonna go from that node to that node and then I'm gonna make a freehand curve. If I hold down the control button, I get a more uniform curve, mainly only from a start. I'm holding down the control button so I get like a perfect circle. If I do not hold down the control button, I do not get that perfect circle. The next tool is the artistic media tool. I'm not gonna talk about live start, live or draw, smart drawing or live sketch. Artistic media tool is pretty cool. You can draw things like that depending on your custom. So if any of these tools, if you wanna find out more, you're on my video channel right now, there'll be a, a magnifying glass, not at the top of Corel or not at the top of YouTube, but in my channel. And you can type in artistic media tool and find out more about these tools. I mean, there's a lot of them you can spray paint and all kinds of brush strokes, and it's pretty cool. The next one is the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle, self-explanatory. If you hold down the control button, you draw a perfect square from any point. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go over all the tools on this because the video would be way too long, but there's also a three-point rectangle that I very seldom use. The next one is the ellipse tool. Same thing, you can draw an ellipse. But if you hold down the, con well, you can draw an ellipse, but if you hold down the control button, you draw a perfect circle. And there's some videos that tell you a little bit more about it. The next is the star tool. You can draw a star and holding down the control button and make a perfect star. Inside, if you notice, I'm drawing everything in hairline and I mentioned one of the earlier videos I draw everything in hairline. I'm just gonna delete some of this stuff to get it out of the way. Inside the star tool is a polygon tool, and it might be the polygon tool as default. I might have used the star last, but you can hold down the control button and draw a three-sided, four-sided, five-sided, as many sides as you want, sided polygon. The good thing about the polygon tool that I like the most is you can grab with the shape tool, one of the nodes and bring it in. If you hold down the control button, it'll restrict it to right angles. But if you don't, you can move it around. That's really cool with the polygon tool. Next inside that fly out is the spiral tool. Not used that much, but you can make some pretty cool designs with it. Common shapes. In some version, it's gonna be called basic shapes. You've got arrows, you've got, you can draw a happy face. You can draw a heart. This is where the best place to get your heart. They put all this together in 2019. You know, the banner shape, we can draw banners, but it's under common shapes. Impact tool, I'm not gonna get all into in a beginner. Graph paper, I'm not. But you can type in and search those tools. The next is your, te is your text tool. Take your text and click on it and start typing text. That is your text tool. 
Then you can go up to change your text style. You can change your text from that to Arial. You can change it to bold. You can underline it. You can italicize it. You can center justify it, just like a word processing. Also up here, you've got an editor that will edit that text and we'll type in font and hit OK. That's your text tool. We're not going to get into table tool. We're not going to get into parallel dimension tool as a beginner, but it's really cool because you can measure. If you want to know how big that font is, well, it's got a line underneath it. It's 6.51 inches tall. But how big is the F? How tall is the F? Well, you can take your parallel dimension tool, and it's roughly 5.8 because we're at an angle. And you can change that dimension, 5.9. I'm not going to go over the connect tool. It's very seldom ever used. Drop shadow, contour. Contour is a big tool. The blend tool. Distort, envelope, extrude, and block shadow. I'm going to go over just a couple of them. The blend tool is cool. You can have two objects and select them both and go to the blend tool and blend them together. You can blend them by color and a lot of other things. The uh, contour tool is used every day by me. If I want to contour this two steps to the outside, you can get equal lines. You can also have square corners, the colors of the corners. Let's uh, back up here and let's, because our original rectangle was square, let's go to the contour tool and use square corners. Now we got that. You could actually expand them out or whatever you want, but you can do as many steps as you want. You can change the thickness. If we just want 0 0.01, you can change just a little bit of a contour. So that's your contour tool. I'm going to go ahead and finish this on these tools. Just real quick, your eyedropper tool. Eyedropper, color eyedropper. Let's go, let's make another rectangle and let's make it black. But we want to use black inside of there. I can take a sample of that color and put it there. Then there's the attribute one. Let's just change that. Let's change our thickness to uh, 10 points. Whoop. King. I'm drawing so little, it's not funny. So I want that attribute of that outside line to this one. So I can use the attribute, and by taking a sample of that and putting it there, I've got the same thickness of line. Interactive fill and mesh, I'm not going to go into. We've already done paint, smart fill. The other one is your outline pen tool, but you've got it right here all the time. And you've actually got it up here sometimes when you have a pen. But you can do everything. If you want it to be one point, you can do the same thing right here by making it back to a hairline and the color. Anyway, so that's the toolbox. And just one real short, real note. I've drawn all over the page. One of the, my favorite tools is the F4 key. I want to zoom in to everything that I have on or off the page. I'm going to hit the F4, page, F4 key, and I've got everything on the page. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.